It is tailgating season, which means we have the perfect excuse to indulge. Look, look who's here. Our yeah. culinary our producer, favorite. our fave, Katie Stilo. She's going to show us a couple of her favorite dishes. By the way, you look like fall. I, I know. Come I on, girl. Like fall. You're ready. It's, it's right. sweater weather. We're here. These two recipes are perfect for all the tailgating needs coming up. Uh, We're okay. starting with a classic, but I'm making it Italianified. I know. Tell look us about that. Why wouldn't I? Is it focaccia? focaccia nachos? Focaccia nachos. I call them focaccios because I feel like it's cute. It's fun. It's catchy. So we're starting with some classic store-bought focaccia that I cut into strips and sort kind of to of resemble thin, a chip. Right? Exactly. Yeah, cool. But I like to season them up before I bake mm. them. So I add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of red pepper flakes Yummy. and olive oil. We take this, we brush oh, it on. Yeah. You know, when you're at the beach, you put on suntan lotion. When you're baking focaccia, <laughs> you put on a little olive oil. So, okay. yeah, so it's crunchy. When so it's it crunchy, you get that chip Love texture. That. Bake Delicious. That, flip halfway through. How long do you bake them for? Eight minutes and then flip and then eight more minutes. Okay, so okay. they just come until out they're like crispy. these little chips. Okay, yeah. now what? Then this is the best part because if you're a family that makes Sunday sauce like myself and you have leftovers, what are you yes. going to do? Monday night football? Monday night. You're Let making these go. nachos. Okay, so go take Katie. your meatballs. Okay, crumble them up. She crumbled meatballs. She crumbled Put them everywhere. And then sausage. Crumble that wow. up. Put this everywhere. Everywhere. Look how easy. You could keep this vegetarian too if you wanted to. You could do like mushrooms sauteed in like Italian seasonings. Yeah. That would be Lots delicious. Lots of cheese. Lots of and What then, kind of cheese are you using? Mozzarella? Yeah, you could use fresh mozzarella too, but I just, you know. Yeah, so about the bag stuff. And that's really it? Fun. You're just doing that's marinara? It. And then you do a little bit of mm. marinara. So instead of like any other sauce you put, and then I like ricotta cheese on top because those, oh. they get all like crunk in the oven. It gets like, you know. So do you put and the cheese on at the end or now? So I put the cheese on now, and then you can ah. keep layering it like a nacho, and then bake it. And at the end, you can pass that to Hodes. I'm passing Thank it. you. I put and you put, there, but at the end, you can put a little Parmesan cheese on top. And so you finish. just take one of the chips. Yeah, and it's like a little and vessel. you eat it. And okay. it's the perfect little Italian twist on nachos. I think it's a delicious mm. idea. <laughs> oh my god! Plus, well, like when you have leftover meatballs, like what, it's a perfect idea. I was gonna bake them off on a tray. Darling, thank you. No, tell us about these. Taco these beans. actually, Carson Daly helped me develop this recipe. He was walking through the kitchen. It all came to be, and it was one of those Today Show special things. In here, we have some mm. wings, uh -huh. and I'm dry brining them in just a packet of taco seasoning that you get at the store. Okay. That's genius. Because it imparts all the flavor with very little work. So you just toss these up, lay them on a wire mm -hmm. rack lined tray. Okay. Okay, and then let them sit in the fridge overnight. So uh -huh. this requires a little bit of forethought. So cool. Saturday night, before you go out and have your drinks and have fun, mm -hmm. brine your wings. Perfect. Okay. A little bit of salt on top. The next okay. morning, you're going to bake them off okay. in an oven at like 350-ish, about 20, 25 minutes render down that fat, broil them off, broil get them, them nice off. and crispy. Okay. I like to do a little down. chipotle sauce down on down. top. Mm. So in here I have some mayo, but you could also do like a yogurt situation. I'm adding a little bit of lime juice. Yeah. Yummy. I love chipotles and adobo because I feel like they give a little smoky note. We're going to add a little pepper, mm -hmm. some garlic powder, some paprika, yeah. and some cumin. And then what? And then you take your wings yeah. and you douse them in this sauce. Yeah, look at that. And then that the best amazing. part is the toppings of a taco. So I take some taco shells, crunch them mm. up on top. Sour some cream. Scallions. I guess it's crema, but you can do sour cream. Oh, amazing. Yeah. All your favorite toppings. Oh my toppings. gosh, Katie, you're a genius. Katie, we love these words. Oh, amazing. <laughs> to get mm. these recipes, head to slash food. Mm -hmm.